Okay guys, so as you can see, Logic Pro is now released for the iPad. So this is the full Logic Pro version that Apple just released. So let's just take a look at how it looks from the beginning and let's go here to Logic Pro. And I have already opened this up, so I'm just um, going to show you how it looks like from the beginning. If we go back here, let's say that I want to create a new project just like that. And this is how it looks like from the beginning. So first of all, you need to subscribe because this is a monthly subscription. So this is something new and you're going to get the first month for free. And then you're just going to choose if you want to have it um, paid by monthly or annually. And then you're going to go here. So from here we can choose new tracks. We can also choose new live loops and we can, we also have different things here like learn and explore. So let's say that we want to learn how this track was made, then we can get this. We can also listen to this on Apple Music. And I think this is just a Logic project file. So if we preview this, I think that we, we should get the sound from this. And if we just go to get here, then you can also get this, uh, this package here. And you can also see see all. This is the lessons. So we have different lessons for Logic. And then we also have different sound packs. So this is the sound library where we can download different sounds. It looks like this. And this, these three here are, are the packs that are downloaded in the beginning. So these three here. And then you also have different like drummer packs, for instance, and you can also see how much space it takes because um, yeah, they're sounds, so they're going to take up some space on your iPad. We also we can also get, go here, new project settings. And let's say if we go to a new track here, then we'll have a new project open up. And just as on the Mac, we can choose MIDI, audio, uh, software instrument pattern, or a drummer loop or a drummer um, track. Patches, loops, samples. You can also go here and you can just choose whatever you want to here. So let's say instrument patches, then we have different sounds here. Like that, then you can just drag it in. You should be able to drag it in. Oh, okay, so you go to new track with patch. Okay, so now if you go here, create MIDI region, double click it, edit, show an editor, and now we can just paint the notes. And I'm a very long Logic Pro Mac user, and for now, this is not something that I would go to uh, if I want to like create music, but if I'm on the go, maybe, but still, I always got my laptop with me, so I'm just opening up my laptop and I have everything there. But this, yeah, some things here might get creative because you can actually draw different things in. So let's say you have an Apple Pencil, for instance, then you can draw in automation and stuff like that. But you could do this with Logic Remote as well, and that has been out for, for ages now. So yeah, there are different stuff here. You also have the mixer. Um, we can have it like that. It's cool to, to do it like with the finger. And then I also try to just lo load up a huge Logic profile that I have from that I worked with a lot of different third party plugins. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like. Let's try this one here. And you can immediately see that I'm missing some plugins, of course, because they are uh, audio unit plugins. There was some talk that about that um, different third-party plugins should be available on the iPad or that they would be available for the iPad. Um, I didn't found, find like any way to download these plugins to the iPad. Maybe it's yeah because it just released. So And I also tried to look up for the help section and it's just showing that the page can't be found. So I think that Apple is, is not really like 100% uh, ready with this release yet um, and yeah all third-party plugins should be uh, yeah you should be able to open up third-party plugins on Logic Pro 5 iPad but 
there's also saying on the website that uh, the third-party plugins are only ones that you can download on the App Store. And I can say that all of these plugins here are downloaded with just an app for the Mac OS and just an installation, like installation program. So uh, you just download it and go to next, 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 and then you're installing that plugin on your computer or you have an .au file. And I'm not sh quite sure if you can just get .au files and just drag it into the iPad and install it that way maybe, but... Um, yeah, so if you just click one of those, you can see install this missing audio unit extension to continue using it in your song. So I think it should work, but I'm still not sure. I'm just going to check this, of course, but for now, it's just like it's just like a way better version of GarageBand for iPad. But um, other than that, yeah, you have you have a lot of different things you can do here, of course, and you can be more creative, I think, with the Logic Pro for iPad here. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, plugins, for instance, Chroma Verb. This is not the full version. I thought it would be like the full version, like it is on the Logic Pro, but it looks way different here. It looks very simple, like too simple. And then you have the AO AU plugins that just showing plugins not available. So, yeah, uh, this is not really what I expected. But as I said before, it might be that you have to like learn it. So, uh, I'm going to go through the Logic Pro for iPad here, and I'm going to work it with different projects and different uh, plugins, and I'm going to do all the research here in the coming days. And you will see a full course of this Logic Pro for iPad here. So I'm going to do a full length course where I'm going to describe and I'm going to show you uh, this app from the beginning. And I'm just I'm going to create like a full on project file here. And I'm going to try to make a full music production just as I would do with Logic Pro. And then I'm going to send it to my Mac edit something there, and then I'm going to go back to the iPad with that project file. I'm go just going to see if I'm able to actually do uh, the same with my iPad as I would do with my Mac. So that course is going to be out in a few days. I'm just going to post this here on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.